Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is the continuation of the previous one where we had just finished installing Zen Armor. However, in this one we are going to be uh, covering installation of CrowdSec again on PFSense. Uh, before we begin, let's talk about, um, or sorry, not talk about, let me give you a, a brief introduction about what CrowdSec is. Um, directly from their website. CrowdSec is an open source security stack that detects aggressive behaviors and prevents them from accessing your system. It is a modern thread blocking solution that replaces old players like fail to ban CrowdSec is a lightweight and user friendly with low technical entry barrier and high security gain. Once an unwanted behavior is detected, it is automatically blocked. Now, let me translate it from my own personal experience uh, because I do have it both at home and I am going to install it in a, in a virtual testbed, uh, walking you guys through it. It's really simple, by the way. You don't have to scratch your head. It, it's, a, it's a basically a set it and forget it uh, type of deal. Obviously, once you uh, install it, you do have to tell it which lists you wanted to sort of populate from and uh, which security engine to use i it took me a little bit of time to figure out how to properly do it um i found my list and i uh, configured it to use the uh blocking engine i i think that's what it's the proper lingo i'm still getting used to it i do apologize about that you know like i said it's a it's a pretty straightforward set it and forget it because everything is it, it's supported and maintained by an open source community of uh, security professionals so it is uh, continuous security uh, it's pretty good with regards to how it handles any potential threats and i log in maybe once a month into the dashboard just to see a resume of things so i'm going to uh, attempt to do this as real time as i possibly can i even made a um sort of a burner Crowdsite console account so that we can go from start to finish. And as I'm walking through, you guys can follow. Um, all of the commands that you see over here will be available in the video description so that you can perform them yourself. That being said, let's get started. The first step that we want to do is we want to open an SSH connection to our PFSense installation. So this is mine. Man, I think it was. Uh, nope, uh, it is. There we go. So once you've, once you've gained access to your PSNS installation, what you want to do is you want to go into the shell because you want, uh, you are going to be installing packages. Uh, I don't remember if this works directly into the console. So let's take a look. Okay, no problems. And then we are going to copy each line one by one. And we are going to let it install as well. Uh, Okay, so now that we have finished installing it, we need to perform the last command, which before we do that, we have to just one second, please, so I can get my windows in order. Okay, so here we are. I did create a sort of a burner CrowdSec account uh, so that we can take a look at the last step. And what you want to do is basically have this command. And the reason why uh, this is sort of a burner 
uh, CrowdSec account, all of this will be purged, is that this is unique to each account. Mine is going to be different than yours. Yours is going to be different than the other two individuals that are watching this video, so on and so forth. It is unique. This is essentially the last step once we have finished installing CrowdSec on our uh, PFSense deployment. So let me just uh, finish setting it up and we are going to continue with the proper steps. Okay, we are back in the video and we are ready to perform the last step. So we're just going to select uh, our copy link. And sometimes it's going to tell you parts that are not, uh, not found. That's okay. You just have to um, pay attention, unlike I do, and just uh, delete all the clutter. CSCLI not found. Okay. If it tells you C SCLI command not found, that means that we have to go into our PFSense UI and do it from there. So we're just going to log in to PFSense. And we're going to go under diagnostic and where was it? Command prompt. And we're going to execute the shell command here. It's going to give you another error, different. I don't know why it's different, but when you're doing it through the um, execute shell command uh, through the GUI, it actually has progress versus if you're doing it through shell through an intermediary, like for example, putty, it doesn't. So what we're going to do, uh, it says the central API must be configured with this. So let's, let's erase that and just go with what it's telling us to do, execute it. And then we're going to do the next command, which is sudo service reload. Uh, I guess it's pre-configured for, um, I guess, uh, what? Come on. I'm sorry. Uh, this, it's usually a lot more straightforward than that. Okay. There we go. I'm still ironing out the kinks in my process, but here we are. We are ready to log into our. Uh, CrowdSec console, and we're ready to accept this CrowdSec instance into our dashboard. Here we are in our CrowdSec console, and as you can see, we now have a request for a security engine to enroll. All we have to do is click Accept Enroll, and if it gives us any errors, Sometimes it's a good idea to restart the PFSense in, um, instance that we have uh, simply because what's, what can you not fix with a reboot? And uh, that's, that's it. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. It's a successful enroll. Now let's go ahead and configure our CrowdSec. What we want to do is we are going to go into, I believe it was block list please bear with me it has been it has been a while since the last time we did it yes so it is it is block list and we are just going to subscribe to it what i would suggest is grab the uh because there as a as a free crowdsec account you can only have uh you can only subscribe sorry to three lists so my suggestion is see what goes the best for you. Um, there's a there's a subscription. Uh, sorry, there's a block list for uh, VoIP. There is a crowd uh, crowdsec list for um, proxies. There's another one for honeypots, um, for exposed services, so on and so forth. Um, I am going to grab the uh, the proxies. Oops, sorry. Misclicked it. I am going to grab the uh, the proxies list for our free proxies list. I'm going to subscribe to that one. 
and make sure that you select ban so that all the traffic that's coming to your pfSense environment is banning those IPs. Uh, and it roughly takes about two hours for all of this to come into effect. So we're going to save that and we're going to back go and we're going to return to the uh, to the block list. Uh, the second one that we're going to subscribe to the um, say the bot scout list. This is also a good list to have. Um, it is free. Uh, there are premium ones as well. If you uh, if you have that um, possibility to upgrade your plan. And the last one that we're going to do is the uh, we're going to do the uh, green snow list, which is uh, for attacks of any kind other than spam. That is also a good list to have. And we're going to add our security engine and click on ban. Now we are officially subscribed to our three lists. And if we go back to security engines and engine, our block list should be free. However, if you uh, note, our bouncer is at zero, which uh, it needs to be at one because we just installed the bouncer. So if you are having this issue, let's let's go ahead and try and restart our PFSense instance. And we are back. As you can see, bouncer is now one. Um, what you can do sometimes if a reboot of your PFSense installation does not work out, what you can do is the following. Simply go back into your PFSense installation under services. You're going to see a new tab that has been populated called CrowdSec. Click on it and it will load the uh, CrowdSec service page. If you scroll down and save it, sometimes that also uh, fixes the problem as well by forcing new default values onto as arguments. So that was pretty much it. Uh, thank you for tuning in and for following a tutorial on installation of CrowdSec onto PFSense. I know it wasn't something flashy or crazily informative, but this is kind of what, what happens, especially when you have AI powered technology helping you to protect uh, your, your network. You set it. You give it the rules and then you forget about it. Obviously, uh, there are still a lot of things that even I, as an individual, continue to learn on a daily basis. You are going to listen. You are going to uh, see zero on the scenarios for a little while longer. It does take two to three hours for everything to populate and to synchronize with your PFSense. Do not worry if within 24 hours, you still have zero scenarios. Have a look at the CrowdSec, CrowdSec sorry, uh, documentation and see if there's potentially something that uh, that covers your scenario. Thank you again uh, for for viewing this video. Like and subscribe. Your assistant helps more than you know. I'll see you in the next one.